Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm not in my kitchen. I am here in Ireland with some very special guests. I am here with Sarah and Charlie. And where are you from? Uh, the Ireland. Hooligans. The Hooligans. They're from the Hooligans. I'll put a link in the description below. But we made these amazing cake pops. These are Easter cake pops, and they are what are they? The little chicks, right? Yeah. Hatching from the egg. And we had a lot of fun doing this, so I hope you keep watching and see step by step how we made these. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna do is, you're gonna help me out there, Charlie. She's gonna fill our, our Ziploc bag with some Oreo cookies. These are about 12 or 14 Oreo cookies. I think it's 12. Uh, I'll have to count in a little bit. Uh, so good job there, Charlie. So we filled this bag up. And it's just a simple way of doing it. I'm gonna seal this, let it, whoop, good job. I'm gonna let out as much air as possible. Zip it up real tight. And then Farah is going to smash them into little bits. Look at the hat. Very good. Oh, you can hit harder than that. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Good job. Make sure you get all of them. Oh. Well, I have to get a couple good assistants. Nice. Do you want to take your frustrations out on this too? No? You don't want to smash any? Yeah, I figured she would. Oh, look at that. Watch your fingers, don't let your fingers open. <laughs> awesome. All right, my turn. I get to smash some. I'm just making sure all the big chunks are smashed away. So just stick it in. Mr. Rashes wants to join in the video, but not right now. <laughs> all right, so we are going to take our bowl we're gonna take our crushed Oreo cookies. You can do this with other kind of cookies too. It doesn't have to be oh Oreo God. cookies. Look at all of them. All that in there. That looks, That's that a looks lot. like tiny cookies. Yes. So we're gonna take some cream cheese here and this is, we're gonna use about four ounces worth. It's really a game of playing with it. I don't know if that, that, that might be all right. It's best if you leave the cream cheese out from the refrigerator a little bit, but we're gonna use about that and now we're just going to smash this all together and crush it, right? Crush it with the Oreos. Oreos. Crush it all together. Now we could have just kept it in the bag and just put the cream cheese in there. But what fun would that be, right? we got to make a mess. More for mommy to clean up, right? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to smash this in here. Get it in really good. It smells, it does. You can smell those Oreo cookies coming through. And in fact, the cheese is like the cream cookies. Yes, the cream mixes in with the cookies. And we're actually going to put a couple more cookies in here. You want to open one of those other yeah. packages? So we're going to touch more. Yeah. Good. Um, smash more. We've got to put it in the bag again. So, there we go. There we go. Go ahead, put it in. I got staff. <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, good job. And I'll uh, open this one up. This is gonna be go, fun. Yes. This is gonna be nice. <laughs> cool. And we'll zip it and smash it. Y'all having fun? Okay. Do you want to tell them where you're from? Tell Ireland. them right here. Tell them. Ireland. They're from Ireland. have to go behind them they did such a good job they're pros now so we're gonna put that in there because it was a little too uh, too much cream cheese so there we go it does just wait until we make them completely mix that in really good mm, nope cream cheese is good so now what we're going to do is make these into little ball shapes like meatballs and everyone, you're going to grab just a little bit. All right, so we are going to take some of these. I'm going to take a, a pinch full, about a tablespoon worth, um, if you're American. And we're going to roll it into a meatball. Look at that. They are experts. Look at that. That looks so good. Y'all are experts at this. Little small meatball. 
and I'm an unprofessional, didn't turn my volume off my phone. Uh, but look at that, so there we go, we just set it anywhere on there, look at that, very good. Awesome, and then grab more. <laughs> Best part is we get our hands all, ooh, ooh. <laughs> awesome. What's your favorite dessert, Farah? Cupcakes. Cupcakes, Farah loves cupcakes. What's your favorite dessert, Charlie? What? Mm. Jelly. So uh, that would be like Jello for Americans. Jelly. Cool. Americans, we call it different. That's why I'm just explaining to them. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take these. We're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in the refrigerator just for at least 10 to 15 minutes to get them nice and firm and before we put the cake pops in there, the sticks. So that way it'll get nice and firm. Okay, guys. So now we're gonna take our popsicle sticks, our cake pop sticks, whatever you like. We're going to take these, we're going to dip it into melted chocolate. I melted these candy melts ahead of time. Uh, you can do it in a microwave, you can do it over a stove, double boiler, whichever you like. We're just going to put a little bit on the end here, and then we're going to stick it into our cake pops, which have been in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to do the first one. I'm going to take one of this, I'm going to dip it in. All you need is this much right here. It's like a Q-tip. And we're going to take this, and I'll show you what we do. Just stick it in, because you're going to use... Now it wants to separate, so you want to kind of squeeze it a little bit as you do it. And then there you go, we have one of these. You just set it right back on the, the tray. So who wants to go next? Go ahead, uh, we'll go this way. Sparrow can go first, grab one. Yeah, good job, you're good. You can do that, dip it in. And grab one of those. And go ahead and stick it in. Only go about halfway in. There you go, good job. And just kind of squeeze it and then set it up right there which one do you want to do just set it up just like that well done it might fall over but that's okay which one would you like to grab oh, good charlie's dipping it in the chocolate candy melts and which one? Oh, here i'll get it too yep just push it in about halfway yep good job go ahead and put it on there all right, and we're gonna do that with all of them, and then we're gonna put it back in the refrigerator just for about five minutes. And then we're gonna bring them out and put it back, dip the whole thing in here. But you'll see that in a minute. All right guys, so now we have our cake pops out of the refrigerator. They've been in there for about five minutes or so. So we're gonna take our cake pops, we're gonna dip it in our melted uh, yellow candy melts here. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then they're gonna help us out. I'm gonna dip it completely in all the way in. I'm using my spoon to kind of like just work the, um, the candy, melts. candy melts, thank you, around it. And then I'm going to pull it out because it wants to come off when I do that. And I have to gently do that and kind of try to flatten it the best we can. There we go. And that's one right there. And we're gonna stick it in the bottom of a milk carton here just to hold them up so they don't fall over. All right, we're gonna go one at a time. So pick out one, because I'm gonna help her out a little bit with this because they do wanna fall off. And I'll, I'll use my spoon. So you can just dip yours in. Just dip that in there, try to go all the way down. Push it down, push it down. And I'm gonna cover it up really good. Yeah, good job. Ooh, good job. <laughs> Okay, now wait, don't pull it up yet until I tell you, because I'm gonna try to get my spoon underneath. Okay, gently pull it up. All right, so keep pushing back in. Go ahead, push in, that's all right, that's fine. And now flip it like this. Good job, that's good. And then I'm gonna cover this, smooth it out, and look at that. There we go, and I'm gonna put that one on this end. And you see they're already starting to harden up a little bit. Uh, they do harden up quick, and now it'll be Farrah's turn. Pick, pick out one Farrah. Not that one. No. <laughs> All right, so Farrah is going to dip this in. Now you're going to, hold on, let me get a good amount right there. Go ahead and dip it all the way in, push it all the way down, and just hold it there for a minute. I'm going to just cover it with the chocolates. Candy melts. Candy melts. See, I'm glad I got a professional here. Now slowly pull up, straight up. Okay, good job. Now flip it over. All right. Mm. Look how good these look. Doesn't look like much right now, but they're gonna look amazing when we're done decorating them, right? 
Yeah. They're gonna look like little chicks. Perfect for what? Easter. Easter. Look at that. Very good. Charlie knows. So there we go. Look, we did a good job of doing ours. Now we're gonna do the rest of these like this, and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator just for a little while. Okay guys, so our candy melts have come out of the refrigerator. They're nice and firm, and we wet, melted down some white candy melts. And what we're gonna do is dip these halfway in. It's gonna represent like the uh, chick coming out of the egg. So I'm gonna just take one right here, and you got the spoon? Good job. Huh? Yeah. So we're gonna take one, we're gonna dip it in only about halfway. Dip it in a little bit, and into the white. And Side of the head. Yep. But, yep, and then that's good. This is gonna represent the white. It's not gonna cover it a lot like you normally would, but we can always take a spoon and cover it some more if we need to. There we go, and just kind of have a jagged, doesn't have to be perfect. So that's one, and we're gonna do that with a few of them here. And then the others, you can just decorate just like little chips, and that's gonna be the fun part. So we're gonna take one of these, we'll take a better one, we'll do, um, this one, this one's pretty good too. So we're gonna make this the face, and to do that, did we, oh, yep. So, oh, that's good. Yep, good job, she's keeping them mixed up for us really good. So I'm just gonna take a little bit right here, and I'm gonna find the best part of this. I'm gonna say this is gonna be the beak. So I'm just gonna put like a little tiny, like a triangle, like sideways, I guess. This is gonna represent the beak. Now this is an edible marker. You can get this at the craft store. It's, you don't want to use like a regular magic marker for this. You want to use this edible marker. We're going to make the eyeballs for this. Do you want to put, and I, I'll put one eyeball for each. So you each put a one eyeball. So one puts one eyeball here, and one puts one eyeball there. So since you're on this side, put one on one, on one side. Just draw a little eyeball up right about there. Up there, yeah, right there. You can put a bigger dot in that, like draw a little bit. Draw it. Good job. Now you get to do one too. And like I said, this is an edible one. You wanna put it like right over here. Yep, you get a better, oh, right there, look at that. Trust me, it's good. Oh, look. Awesome. So this is one of the chicks they made. <laughs> so that's one of the chicks they made and looks good, look at that. <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? So we're gonna make more of them just like that. Tell them what, what y'all have a chicken, right? Yeah. Tell those people what y'all saw today. What, what happened with they your chicken? Laid an egg. Their chicken laid their first egg today and then they laid another one. Awesome. Well, guys, we're going to do the taste test and that's the best part of every dessert and recipe, right? So they can't wait. I can't wait to try these. And uh, what do you say? One, two, three. <laughs> Good. How was yours? Good. Good. You? Thumbs up. Ireland approved. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching us make these cake pops. They're a lot of fun making it. And of course, having these experts help me was just amazing. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that big thumbs up. And also check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. And make sure you check out their channel. I'll put a link in the description below as well as one of those cards above. And they have amazing videos. They do daily vlogs and they're from Ireland. Uh, any last minute things you'd like to say, Farah? Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. Bye. And thank you for watching. So long.